Okay, so welcome back to our weekly series, no? Where we do our quick weekly charting session. We do uh, an analysis ng index and then yung uh, top trending names or top five trending names based sa uh, Investa. Okay, so you're gonna have to forgive me this week because for some odd reason, ayaw gumana nung uh, full screen ko. Uh, when I click on the full screen, para masisira yung layout. I'm not entirely sure why. Ba kailangan ko lang i-reset yung cash ko. But for now, uh, we'll do it this way. Because I can't figure it out. Okay? So kung naalala nyo, last week, we were around here, no? Sabi ko, uh, nauntog tayo dito sa area of previous consolidation na to. And it wouldn't surprise me kung makahanap tayo ng resistance dyan. And for a while, we did. And then price tried to break out again. However, before we get too excited, we have to realize that technically speaking, nasa loob pa rin tayo ng maliit na area of consolidation na yun. Note, maliit lang siya, 100 pesos lang more or less dito sa ano. So it's not that strong of an area of consolidation to begin with. The fact that price is having a hard time pushing through that area might mean na baka maakuha pa tayo ng pullback. However, we're not gonna depend on mga haka-haka, baka-baka, di ba? Prepared tayo, whatever happens. If price does break out, we break above 7,000, then we expect na likely we see a mga 7172 area, then we can check again from there. If we do pull back, what we're looking for is mga, dito sa mga 66 maybe, kung saan nag-resist tayo dito, resist, 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 resist konti, then we broke out. So if we pull back, uh, may chance na makahanap tayo ng support around that area, dito sa 6667 area. Okay? Uh, so, if may mga binabantayan kayong index names, then you want to time your entries accordingly, either kung breakout trader kayo, or you're waiting for a pullback, or whatever, kung nagko-consolidate ba ngayon yung mga binabantayan nyo, or what have you. Okay? So, let's start to sa lima na titignan natin ng names for this week. Uh, we start off with Dito, everyone's favorite. Uh, and nothing's really happened, no? Uh, price uh, pulled back here. We found support. Tried to break up. Wala. Tapos nag-consolidate lang tayo for the last 2-3 weeks. Okay, essentially nothing has happened. Nothing has changed my views to say na, ah, mas bullish na ako sa Dito or ah, mas bearish na ako sa Dito. It's the same. We push down. Price held, we're consolidating. That's the long and short of it. Huwag nating pangunahan gaano. Kasi wala naman talagang may kita. Maybe, if we look at lower time frames, baka may mga hinahanap kayo, lalo na yung mga nag scalp or mga nag day trade sa atin. But ako, I rarely go uh, lower than the daily time frame. And from here, I really don't see anything too exciting. Okay? Uh, the next thing that we're gonna look at is uh, BSC. So BSC, ganun din. For the past ilang weeks, nagko-consolidate lang siya. As you can see, di man nga lang ako naglagay na ng level sa chart ko because nothing is really happening. We're consolidating and until price breaks up from here, breaks up above mga 87, 86, diba? we're not really gonna see any significant action or if we break below here, and maybe not even then, kailangan mabasag to, maybe we feel this gap, we don't know. But essentially, naka wait and see mode tayo. Parang baka mangyari na naman yung parang ganito, matagal na matagal na matagal na consolidation before it decides what it really wants to do. Okay? Next is LC. Now, LC as we can see, uh, price broke higher. We're trying to carve out a lower a higher low here, diba? So dito we broke up we formed a higher high compared to this one, diba? So, ito yung low mo. We're trying to form a new high, a range high. Ito yun. We pulled back. We're trying to see if we can form a new higher low. 
And if we can, if price pushes higher, then we expect na ma-challenge man lang niya sana tong 201. But I expect some type of resistance similar sa nangyari sa index yung pinakita natin kanina na itong area of previous consolidation baka makahanap ng resistance sa yung price on the way up. Okay? So kung hahabol tayo or kung papasok pa lang tayo, then be sure na malinaw sa inyo kung saan invalidated yung thesis nyo, yung trade idea. At kung may hawak na, then just trail your stops accordingly using whatever method that you deem to choose. Okay? The next one is ever. I included this kasi meron, uh, meron nag, uh, message sa akin, nagtanong din tungkol sa ever. So I decided to include this as nataon na part din siya nung trending list dito sa uh, Investa. Now, napapansin nyo, wala akong kahit anong level sa ever because I don't trade this. Uh, it's not my personal style na humabul na mga ganito. Diba? Sunod-sunod na uh, white candles or green candles, kung ano man yung kulay ng candles nyo. Na there's really no rhyme or reason. Walang pullback na maayos. Walang, wala eh. Uh, I'm not a breakout trader. So, and even if I was when it broke out through here, I wouldn't force the issue. Diba? Uh, the best that we can say dito sa ever is if humabul man kayo, then umabot na tayo dito. Diba? Sa high na to, umabot na rin tayo sa high na to. Hay na yan. Tayo sa high na to. Pareho nag-resist. So, kung tutuloy itong ever, di ba? Kung tutuloy itong ever, then we're trying to see it break out from there and see if makabalikan natin itong dating low dito or itong dating high dito. Okay? Something like that. But, this is one of those cases na uh, lagi ko sinasabi sa mga students ko rin na wala tong chart chart eh. Hindi to techni technical analysis or anything. Um, we can say na, o oh, sige, parang, eh dito, meron trend line dyan, brunet niya. Fine. Kung maghahanap ka naman talaga ng dahilan para i-trade, lahagi namang meron eh. But yung mga charts tulad ng ganito, yung mga ever, mga uh, OPM, mga ganun, usually, it's more of buy and pray, yung approach. You buy and then you pray, you hope that it goes up. Uh, if it does, then good for you. If it doesn't, usually, malaki rin ang ipit. Not my personal cup of tea, but if you are trading this, I marked out my personal levels. Honestly, hindi ko na-expect na masusundan sila ng todo, but uh, let's see. Let's see what happens from here. Uh, smart pa ba humabol from here? Honestly, for me, hindi, but kung ganito yung mga gusto nyong type of moves, by all means, go ahead. Di ko kayo pipigilan. Pera nyo yan. Di ba? Uh, I'm not gonna stop you on how you want to spend your money or how you want to trade. That's uh, your personal thing. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna interfere. Dahil baka kunyari, tumaas. Sabihin nyo pa sa akin. Pakailan meron ka kasi. Nakinig ko kasi, wala naman nangyari. Tumaas, tino mo. So, all I can say is what I would do. And what I would do likely is just let it go. Uh, hindi ko na siya habulin, hindi ko na siya pipilitin or anything like that. Okay? And then finally, let's just take a quick look at Apple, at APL. So, ganun din, no? same. We are consolidating. Kung napapansin nyo, kaya ako hinighlight sunod-sunod, di ba? Yeah, APL, BSC, dito. Okay? For 2020 to 2021, uh, medyo sila yung naging barometer natin or naging parang quote-unquote index natin sa mga third-liner place or sa mga basura place. Eh, diba? Usually, sila yung nauunan tumaas tapos sumusunod ng todo-todo yung iba. Yes, ngayon may mga exceptions, yung mga ever, DWC, whatever, but by and large, sila eh, diba? and I'm just And I just wanted to show na yan, yung dito, BSC, and including APL, Technically speaking, they're all consolidating. And what could that mean? Diba? Number one, it could just simply mean that it's consolidating, biding its time, kung tataas siya or bababa or whatever happens. Just because it's consolidating doesn't mean na upside naman eh. It just means it's consolidating. Another way to look at it would be, baka marami kasing naipit, so any strong moves are being sold into. Meaning, yung mga naipit, 
lahat sinusubukan lumabas. So kapag tumaas yung presyo, may inuuntugan. Diba? We can also look at it that way. Hindi natin masasabi 100% sure na yung scenario A or scenario B nga ba talaga yung nangyayari. We don't know eh. Diba? May mga insiders, may mga ibang bagay na hindi natin nalalaman until it actually does happen. All we can say is right now, yun yung isa sa dalawa, yun yung dalawa sa mga multiple possibilities or multiple scenarios we can look at when it comes to these third liners, which is yun nga, uh, DITO, BSC, and APL. Okay? So, with that, uh, I hope you had a good trading week. Alam ko, tumaas yung index, maraming kumita. And I congratulate all of you uh, for making money. And I'll see you all again next week. Happy trading.